guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be my September book haul. And I don't have a lot this time around, but I do have two new Bibles, which you would have seen if you checked out my Instagram. I posted about these Bibles, and I do have a review coming on these Bibles really soon. But I'm going to dive in immediately, starting off with, of course, my normal kind of purchases, if you will, from Joyce Meyer, as well as Our Daily Bread. I am missing a product from Our Daily Bread, so I'm going to have to email them because it still has not arrived yet. And it's actually a children's Bible. Um... I paid for it, Had it has yet to come, so I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to email them on Monday. But um, the first book is by, I think it's Dwayne C. Miller. It's called Survivor. It's a story of tragedy, guilt, and grace. Here is what the cover looks like. And on the back it says, because of who God is, things never go wrong. They only go different. So this takes place in the summer of 1970. Basically, a group of young campers set out for a canoeing adventure and the weather did not cooperate making the outing at first wet and uncomfortable then downright dangerous when the storm grew fierce and capsizing the canoes three young men drowned and um Dwayne Miller was one of those left clinging to a canoe fighting for his life and the fact that he survived when others didn't left him questioning choices he made during the crisis it's a story of how God uses tragedy on a wilderness lake to work for ultimate good journey with Dwayne Miller through the deep waters of grief guilt and depression into hope peace and a new sense of purpose so um it says that he served as a pastor in various churches and ministries in the northeast and midwest since 1978 that canoeing was his favorite hobby and yeah pretty much that's it and this is a biography um, basically an autobiography personal memoir written by him and I definitely wanted to read this because I've gone through some traumatic situations in my life where I would question like why um, how did I get through it or things like that so I thought this was a good book to support and read for myself and just to have in my arsenal in general so I have that the next one is called Let God Be God, Life-Changing Truths from the Book of Job by Ray C. Stedman. And I do get a lot of products from him, um, a lot of his books and articles from Our Daily Bread because he seems to be like a really um, knowledgeable person. And this is all about the Book of Job. I have yet to study the Book of Job and I know a lot of people talk about Job. Job, if you guys don't know, is um, a guy that basically was tested well, basically, God allowed Satan to test him, and Satan took all of his kids. He had seven kids. He took all seven of his kids, took his wife, took his friends, um, cursed him, and he just did a whole lot. And Job, despite going through all that, never turned away from God. And um, I like anything that really just talks about the book of Job, so I'm excited to check this book out. And then we have my Joyce Meyer purchases. Now, this came with three items that I threw out the the calendar because I didn't care for the calendar but um this is her latest book I believe it's called healing the soul of a woman how to overcome your emotional wounds by Joyce Meyer you guys already know how I feel about it I say it in every video if you don't like Joyce Meyer that is fine um I enjoy her I find nothing wrong with her so yeah but um yeah this is the cover I kind of like the cover I like roses so I like that it's a rose and the cover without the dust jacket is purple with silver foiling um again you guys know Joyce Meyer her packaging I love her packaging um and with that it comes with the CD slash DVD I haven't opened it it's still wrapped up in the packaging let's see if I can get this open yes okay let's see if I can get it open probably should have did this before but I just threw it over in my little section but yeah healing the soul of a woman Joyce Meyer and um, yeah it's just a CD and a DVD coloring packaging is gorgeous this retailed for $15 and the book retails for 24 but I didn't pay that obviously I'll leave links to where you can check out the stuff from Joyce Meyer and our daily bread that are normally on donational fees um, they're great so Moving along, I have so many things here in front of me. I'm going to start off with um, the first Bible because it's the only thing I got from Crossway. 
and I am a part, a lot of people ask me, I'm going to do in-depth videos on each of these blogger programs because I am a blogger. I, before I got into like Christian books, I did regular like fictional, paranormal, kind of contemporary romance reviews and joined a lot of blog tours and blog companies. And when I got more into my faith, I found that they had similar systems and similar programs for Christian um, books and whatnot. So I signed up for that, and Crossway is one of those. That was actually one that I found out about and signed up on, on a whim and was actually surprised when I got approved. I think the Bible that I got from them was the uh, Archaeological Study Bible. If you guys have you can just click the on the screen for that video. But this is a new Bible, and it's not a study Bible. Um, it kind of reminds me of the... ESV single column journaling bible but it's the story of redemption bible um this is a journey through the unfolding promises of god and the notes within here are written by greg gilbert and it's not a study bible it's a commentary bible and um oh my god you guys just the gold foiling i'm looking at the screen to make sure it's like showing but the gold foiling on this beauty is stunning um the font on this is a 9.25 font and then the notes which are like commentary notes are like an 8.5 it's single column paragraph format you have over 900 running commentaries from the pastor introduction for the books and you have like 80 new maps illustrations and timelines by peter roth and there's a fold out timeline in the back so i'm just going to show you guys briefly the review like i said is coming but do you see this title page Oh my god, the presentation page, I mean, so pretty with the gold foiling and that grayish blue. And then you have it here. They really outdid themselves. But when I say that this is not a uh, study Bible, it's more of a commentary Bible. I'm going to show you guys. I'm trying to find a page that actually has quite a lot of commentary on it. I'm probably not going to find it in these sections. Okay, so here we go. So when they say that it is a single column paragraph in a way, the reason why I said it's kind of similar to the ESV Journaling Bible is because you can see here, it is legit like the ESV Journaling Bible. You have margin space here. There are no lines. The paper is clean. The paper quality is actually pretty good. But um, it's a commentary Bible in that as you're reading it, because it's written in paragraph form and it's one column like the Journaling Bible, you get these sections every now and then that break with commentary from what you read. So this would be commentary from the pastor. Um, this would be commentary from the pastor. No, actually, that's scripture. Down here is the commentary. And um, you do have, like, in-text photos. I don't know if I can find any. But, like, here you have, like, maps drawn in inside. You have images. I'm trying to find... I think it was in John. Here we go. Herod's Temple in the Time of Jesus. This is actually the same image that you will find in the Archaeological Bible. If you guys have seen um, when we studied... I, don't, I think it was John. I can't remember which John we studied, but I shared um, the Archaeological Bible how... Archae yeah, Archaeological Bible, how they had the image of the Herod's Temple. This is kind of like a mini illustration of that, which I like. And then in the back... You get a few reading plans, but you get a pull-out timeline as well. And, oh, you guys, this, this is a gorgeous Bible. I will review it really soon. It's stunning. It is just a black uh, Bible with nothing on the front. But I love the dust jacket. I wish somehow they made it so that the dust jacket was actually printed directly on the hardcover. But, um, yeah, this is a gorgeous Bible. This Bible retails for $40. It's $39.99 US. You can find it on Amazon, ChristianBook.com, as well as Crossway's website, obviously. But, um, yeah, I got this for review. I'm so excited to review this. And I just, I love having multiple Bibles to use and to learn from. I'm just going to move this here because it's such a big Bible. Okay. So, moving on to the other things. So, I'm going to start off with the two companies that I only got one item from. So I have something from Tyndale, and this is Prayers for the Battlefield, Staying Mom Strong in the Fight for Your Family and Faith. It's by Heidi St. John. She is the author of Becoming Mom Strong. I do have the uh, Bible study as well as the ebook of Becoming Mom Strong, so I thought this was a great addition to request. Love, love, love this cover. It's hardcover. It's purple with gold foiling, um, and I love the arrows on it. And basically, it's just a book of prayers, and you guys know I love books of prayers. 
I, I love prayer books. This one is specifically centered around moms um, and how you can pray for like special delivery and pregnancy. You can pray for your children's teachers. You can pray for your kids, for yourself being a mom, for family members as far as your kids go. Um, you know, for when you're worried, when you're brokenhearted, for your child's teacher, like I said. Um, here we go. Here's like a prayer for the mom who feels powerless, a prayer for the parent at the precepts, pre pre precipice. I can't even pronounce that word, you guys. It's late. <laughs> a prayer for the mom who longs to live authentically. So these are just prayers geared specifically towards moms. But I think this is great for people who want to become moms as well, because now you're just praying over your future. So I have this can't wait to use this in conjunction with the book that she wrote, Becoming Mom Strong, as well as the Bible study. And again, this is from Tyndale. They sent this to me. The program is called the Tyndale Blogger. I think it's the Tyndale Blogger Network or Tyndale Blog Network. All the links will be listed down below. But yeah, this book retails for $12.99, so $13. Bucks, and it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Next, we have Moody Publishers, and their program is MP Newsroom. And I like to get a lot of things from them. I actually have a book that is on the way, but it's not here. And um, it's a book that I'm going to share with you guys in my october book haul when it gets here but this is a commentary they have a bunch of commentaries that i'm actually working on getting i know they have isaiah they have daniel they have acts and then this one is romans which is the first one that i purchased from them um this is 10 bucks 9.99 but this is a commentary on the book of romans and it's an everyday bible commentary by alan f alan f johnson yes and um i like this because it really dives deep in breaking down each scripture each verse and um the book of romans is one that one that i studied on my own didn't get a lot out of then i studied it with my church and i was starting to grasp a lot more from it um i did i believe uh jason from J jason mayfield sorry that's his name i was trying to figure out his name but jason mayfield from grace for life tv or here on youtube he actually recommended a book if i'm not mistaken on the book of romans because he did a study on it and i commented and said how much i enjoyed it but i didn't get a lot from it and he recommended a book which i did download so um yeah i have this and i can't wait to dive into romans again my church is still studying romans along with other things so i have this now to really dive deeper into the book of romans and now we're moving on so i have two books from i can never pronounce this company name malt noma and waterbrook basically they used to be the owners of blogging for books um but blogging for books is no longer out they stopped their program and now they only use netgalley but waterbrook and malt number now does um what they call not blog tours launch teams so they basically send you a book um from whatever author they send you an email with different books that are going to come out um, and they send you an arc or a finished copy prior to it coming out and you basically get the chance to help launch the book with your reviews videos and whatnot so i have two books for this month um the first one is called holy sexuality in the gospel sex desire and relationships shaped by god's grand story by christopher yon this is an uncorrected proof as you can see uncorrected proofs are not for sale they're basically um copies that are not finalized basically this does come with a study guide this book comes out november 20 of 2018 um on sale 11 2018 as you can see and um it says how do we apply the essence of the gospel to a gay loved one in what ways can we better walk walk with truth and grace alongside a fellow christian with the same sex attraction so um it just it's basically about the lgbt community and how we can embrace them and um we can teach them the gospel without being so harsh about it. And it says, Holy sexuality in the gospel offers theological and practical insights that lead us to find our identity in Christ, not in our sexuality. Christopher Young, Young I think that's how you say his name, thoughtfully and openly and explains holy sexuality, chastity and singleness and faithfulness in marriage, shatters the paradigm of gay and straight, and points us toward the biblical standard of sexuality. So though he kind of focuses on the lgbtq community he also talks about um just sexuality and um as a whole and sex as a whole um being single and in a marriage so i thought this was a good book and you guys already saw my update video so yeah this is definitely gonna be one that i read and then the next one which um i think it came out already yes it did come out on september 25th this was an art copy that i received but it's tim tebow t bow's um, this is the day. Reclaim your dream, reignite your passion, and live your purpose. If I'm not mistaken, he was a football player. 
this guy was a football player and he wrote a book um i think this is his second or third book yeah the first book i think he wrote was called shaken um and it was named in a a christian huh it was a book of the year for 2017 sorry guys yes he's a football a college football champion the heisman trophy winner and was the first round nfl draft pick at espn contributor and a professional baseball outfielder with the new york mets so yeah it says this is a day to say yes to your dreams um, sports icon Tim Tebow challenged you to stop putting off until tomorrow what God is calling you to do today, whether you need to get in shape, change your career, or reach out to someone in need. This is the day inspires you not to delay, but to seek God's purpose now. Phenomenal. Um, yeah, it also, if you pre-ordered the book, which I probably should have mentioned this in another video, like previously, but you guys know the situation with that. But it did come with this cute little, um, wristband. Mine's just a little dirty because I've been wearing it for like a month. But it has John 316 on it. And it just says this is the day. And then on the other side you have crosses. And it says SG. I don't know what SG stands for, honestly. But um I've been wearing it a lot on my wrist. So yeah. I browsed through it quickly. I didn't fully get a chance to read it just because I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. If you guys saw my update, you know what I'm talking about. Um and also my mom did just have surgery, so it's going to be a minute before I can really dive back into things like that. Um, so, yeah. But I did browse through it a bit. I am going to read this in depth because I think it sounds really amazing. So, this is the book. And this book is already out. It came out September 25th. And it retails uh, for $25. bucks. right. So, moving on now to BH Publishers. I'm sorry. I'm saying, yeah, B&H Books. Sorry. Um, I have three one was for me and then two i had got for my son so the one that i got for myself is spiritual gifts what they are and why they matter by thomas s Shum. i can't pronounce that um the cover gorgeous but it says what are the spiritual gifts do all christians have them have the miraculous gifts see i mean ceased and yeah it just talks about the topic of spiritual gifts so i got that just because i want to learn more about that and then the last two books are for my son now, this one actually is kind of like a sequel to another book that I hauled, which was called Colorful, but this one is called Thoughtful. It's discovering the unique gifts in each of us, and this one is about a boy that's disabled. I read it, but I can't remember what it's about. Um, yeah, it's a boy. He has Down syndrome, that's what it is, and it's just about how Joshua, um, okay, so the kid, the... I'm going to read the background, because if I say what it is, I'm going to get confused. So it says, do you have the gift of being thoughtful? It's awards day at school in Anaho, a boy with Down syndrome is awarded for being thoughtful. Later, his friend Joshua hears some boys making fun of Anahu and must learn how to stand up for his diff differently abled friend. With Anahu example, Joshua discovers the true significance of being thoughtful, full of kind thoughts for others. This encouraging story reminds us to celebrate our different God-given abilities and discover our shared values. So, Here's the book. I am in love with this. Um, the illustrator is Robert Dunn. The author is Dorina Williamson. She's phenomenal. I read Colorful, which was just about embracing the different complexions and skin colors of people in the world. And um, this one I think is awesome because it teaches you to be very kind, even though someone may have a disability. And my son actually enjoyed this. So I, I personally love this for myself. I think this will be a great book for people to add into their personal libraries for their kids or even in schools. If you're homeschooling and you're a Christian mom, I definitely would say you definitely get this. It, it's a good book um as well as the other one called thoughtful i think she has a third one um but i don't know the name of it but the last book i got is called the mighty reader workbook for grade one um this is a first grade reading level and skills practice with favorite bible stories by heidi cooley here's a workbook and i got it because i just i love workbooks like i love workbooks and my son and i have done two days of this already but it goes through some of the old testament and new testament stories there are different strategies and guides um the first story oh no we didn't do this one we actually did the other one i thought we did this one but um basically you go through vocabulary you get uh some scripture verses so this first one is noah and the ark it's from genesis 6 1 through 9 and verse 17 and um it breaks down into five days if i'm not mistaken or four oh actually no it breaks down into seven days no six so you get six days of work um, but it would be seven technically, so seven days of work, and you go through comprehension and co comprehension and context clues, key details and problem solutions, um, inferencing and visualization, synonyms and key details, connecting and writing with reading, illustrations and comprehension. So I really do think this is great. My son is in kindergarten. He is um, 
four years old, he'll be five next year. So, yeah, it says offer six days of reading and skills. There is also a grade two version of this book. So, I'm definitely excited to get into this book with him. This retails for ten bucks as well. Okay, so now moving on, I am going to get into Thomas Nelson slash Zondervan. Um, I signed up for Book Look Bloggers. Um, and it's a process because you have to have like a certain type of blogger followers and it's, it's it's a lot i've signed up like three times because i like the first two times i signed up i wasn't eligible just because i was missing some things and then i finally was able to sign up this time so i was excited and um book look block book look bloggers if i think if i remember is basically where thomas nelson and zondervan um combine and they uh give free books for review and i have a bible and some other things. So I'm going to start off with Zondervan because I only got one item from them. And this is a 365 devotional. You guys not like devotionals. Devotionals I think are awesome. I, they're not essential in my ass, like in my opinion. I don't think you can like do Bible study with them. But they do help me to keep my mind on the Lord. Especially on times where I have been like um, slipping into like many depressions. Or I just haven't been feeling like myself. I feel like devotionals are great. And this one is um, 365, 365 Devotions for a Thankful Heart from Zondervan. Gorgeous. This is 15 bucks, And um, I love how cute it is. I have flipped through it a bit. I love the color scheme with the coral. And I like how girly it is without being over the top. You can give this to a mom and a, a child. It's just, it's really pretty. This is dated. Um, some of you might not like dated devotionals. I don't care. I just read them as a book, starting from the first page, no matter where I start off at. So, I have that. Then I have three books that are kind of from the same author within the same series. And it's by Max Licato. It's Praying the Promises um, by him and his wife. I think that's his wife, Andrea Lucado. Um, it's basically anchoring your life to unshakable hope. So, here's the first book. And this is the book. I think it's gorgeous. The dust jacket is pretty. It's finding unshakable hope in a shaky world by praying God's promises. So it's basically going through a few promises of God and it gives you um, scriptures, a prayer, and kind of like a declaration as well as other scriptures. It gives you a focal scripture is what I mean. So you would get like, it says you will know God. Um, that's the topic. It gives you a focal scripture. It then gives you some information, kind of like a devotional in a sense. Then it gives you more scriptures concerning that promise. And then it gives you a prayer to pray the promise. And then a I will declaration. And then it goes to the next one. So I think that's an awesome book. This is, like I said, uh, no, this is $16, $15.99. To go with that, I have the student edition, which would kind of be like the teen edition of it. And it's called Unshakable Hope. And it's just a promise book. It's kind of the same thing where you get... Um, your topic or your like your main promise with the scripture some information about it um more scriptures concerning that promise then you get a think and respond section where you can like journal and write down things and then it gives you a declaration so this would be the teen edition this would be the adult edition i have them to go hand in hand to work on then i have the toddler edition just because i couldn't resist um it's god always keeps his promises unshakable hopes for kids it is by max Licato. it's adapted by tama fortner and it is illustrated by alicia Trunfio. Shunf i don't know but um yeah here it is. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. This retails for 17 bucks. I don't know if I told you, but the Promise Book, the teen edition, is 16 bucks, um, And this one is 17 And it really just goes through different stories within the Bible. And it's kind of set up like the other one. Let me go to the middle of the book. So it has chapter 5, God's promise for you. God will make everything work for your good. Then you get your key scripture, some art, some artwork, um, a little mini Devo, if you will, your selected scripture with artwork, and then, you know, it keeps going, obviously, through the scripture. Um, then you get more information about it. Um, you get a kind of, like, declaration that your child can repeat after you, a prayer, and then other scriptures concerning that promise. And the artwork, I think, is stunning. My son loves it. And I have a Bible. I'm going to do the Bible. Um, and oh, you guys, 
I made a video on this Bible already. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or delete it. I'm not sure yet, but. So this is, first of all, I've always wanted a New King James study Bible. I prefer the New King James. I only have the New King James and one trans. I only have one New King James Bible, and it is my um, Journal of the Word journaling Bible from Thomas Nelson, and I love that so much. So, but I really wanted like an actual Bible that I can take a study Bible, and I saw that they had this up in the soft leather touch as well as the hardcover. And I was opting to get the hardcover, but I saw that they had this and requested this one instead. This one comes in black, brown. Um, burgundy which I have and then a hardcover which just looks like this on the front but it is the NKJV Spirit Filled Life Bible um, by Jack W. Hayford he is Pentecostal he was a senior pastor and he is a Pentecostal minister but um, this is the third edition of this Bible it's kingdom equipping through the power of the word you guys this Bible is stunning it is a actual study Bible but the resources within this Bible are amazing and I'm gonna do a video Here's what the Bible looks like. Um, first of all, I love the burgundy. Love the little dove on it. Gorgeous. Um, it has gold gilded edges. I'm not going to go too deep into the Bible. But it is a study Bible that has a lot of different aspects. And I guess I'll show you guys this page. Because I feel like this page basically shows everything. So here is the Bible. You have a resource called Word Wealth, which is kind of like word studies. You have Kingdom Dynamics, which are kind of like things and important things that are like important as a disciple of God. And you have Praying the Word, which is where they take a scripture or passage of scriptures and write a prayer for you. Um, your study notes are at the bottom. Your center is basically cross-references. Um, and there are two bookmark ribbons, a brown and a burgundy. And here you also have like in-text maps, in-text charts, um, Bible introductions, and just... Ugh. A full video will be coming on this Bible, but this, you guys, might be my newest love. Um, I might sit my woman's study Bible, my KJV woman's study Bible from Thomas Nelson to the side and play with this one for a while. Just to see how I like it studying-wise, but oh, gorgeous. This Bible retails for $75, so... Whew, $75 is just, you know, so is money. But um, moving on, the final books that I have are all from Baker Publishing. And um, you guys know Baker Publishing has different branches. They have Bethany House, they have Baker Books, they have Rebel, they have Chosen. I think they have Baker Academics. And yeah, so I have two from Bethany. I have one from Chosen, one from Baker Books, and four from Rebel. So, the first one I'm, I'm so excited for. I'm like, you guys do not understand how excited I am for this. I did contact them to see if they were able to send me a copy of the first book because I'm so excited to read this. If you guys don't know, I've recently been getting into Christian fiction. I put off Christian fiction for a while because a lot of the Christian fiction that I would find was about Amish um, people. And I just, I don't get with the Amish culture, if you will. Um, I just felt like it was a little too much, and most of the books that I found were, like, with little girls marrying these older men, and just, it wasn't for me, um, and then the other books just were, like, real Victorian era style. I don't care for books like that. But then I found out about books that are, like, biblical fictions, which are basically stories based on books of the Bible, people from the Bible. Um, those kind of books are the books that interest me. I've read Redeeming Love by, uh, oh my god, what's her name? I can't remember her name at the moment, but I read Redeeming Love. I love Tessa Afshar. Afshar. Francine Rivers, that's who it is. So, Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. I read that. I read um, two books by Tessa Afsh Afshar, which are Pearl in the Sand, which was about... Uh, who was that about? Rahab? I think it was Rahab. Rahab. I read In the Field of Grace, which was about, about Ruth. Um, Redeeming Love was written about um oh my god what's the prophet's name about the prophet that god told to marry the prostitute and her name was gomer i i can't remember his name at the time it'll be on screen but yeah i read those i read isaiah's daughter by Messu andrew which i love her writing um i read esther by oh what's the lady's name i can't remember Esther of the Royal Beauty, but, um, so I was excited to, like, get this, I requested it because I was, like, so excited, and it's called The Shelter of the Most High by Connelly Cossett, I do own all of her books on ebook, but I saw that they had this one, and it recently came out, actually, no, it doesn't come out till October 2nd, 
this book comes out october 2nd this is the second book in the cities of refuge oh my god the cover is stunning oh my god you guys look at the back of it gorgeous i i love it the first book is called uh a light on the hill um this one is basically about the daughter of a pagan high priest and how she finds solace from her troubles in the freedom of the ocean and kadesh the shores of canaan um yeah so i'm excited to dive into this and this book i will be reading this month october because i just have to i i have to but i'm trying to get the first book first so we'll see um so this again is from bethany house um and then the next book i got from bethany house is another devotional but you guys it's about the book of john i keep saying the book of john it's the gospel according to john and um it's 365 classic devotions from classic writers day by day through the gospel of john compiled and edited by lance wubbles wubbles it's a devotional all about the gospel of john you guys know i adore the gospel of john i recommend it to everyone it's one of my favorite books of the bible and i mean you have excerpts from charles bergen john john wellesley um adam clark Catherine booth andrew murray francis ridley matthew henry hudson taylor george mcdonald st gordon alexander white joseph parker so it's just a one-year devotional packed with profound biblical commentary, biblical w brilliant wisdom, and practical application. And it is dated, but I mean, who cares? There are no prayers. It's strictly kind of like a commentary and study notes on the Gospel of John. And yeah, this book is 20 bucks. I didn't tell you guys the price of this book, which I'm apologizing for. This will be $16. But yeah, oh, love it. So those two are from Bethany. Then I have one from Chosen, as I said. If it's called The Last Hour, an Israeli insider looks at the end times by Amir. I can't pronounce his name, but it's forwarded by Dr. David Jeremiah. And um, he was born in Israel and lived there most of his life. He was a part of the Israeli Defense Forces. CEO of SAR L Tours and conferences. Basically, at the last hour, as the last hour approaches, it's time to topple misconceptions and discerns God's true plan. So it's an Israelite Christian and a respected Bible teacher. How he explains the biblical prophecy, um, and yeah, a modern day application of it. So I just thought that was cool to read. Honestly, I saw it and I was like, that actually sounds like it's gonna be awesome. So I requested it, but I was told from one of you, one of the ladies here on YouTube that he's actually a pretty good per, um, speaker. So I'm actually quite excited to read this book. And then from Baker Books, I have Welcome to Adulting, Navigating Faith, Friendship, Finances, and the Future by Jonathan J.P. Puckluda? Puckluda with Kevin Mc, McConaughey. I don't, I don't really know. But um, it says you're an adult, now what? Adulting is hard, but sometimes we make it harder than it has to be. Com combining entertaining stories from his own experience, insights from the Bible, and compelling research. Jonathan J.P. lays out a roadmap. Sorry about that, you guys. My camera cut off, so I don't know where I left off. But basically, it helps with you um, navigating adulting. And I thought this would be a funny book to read. Um, and especially since it's Christian-based, I thought it would be great. So I have that. And I'm just going to breeze through these so my camera doesn't die again. So, the rest are from Rebel. The first one is called Stretch Too Thin, How Working Moms Can Lose the Guilt, Work Smarter, and Thrive by Jessica N. Turner. Um, here it is. Basically, yeah, it says work and parent guilt-free, set achievable goals, discover more flexibility, establish career work boundaries, develop home management solutions, which I need, um, become more efficient and less stressed, prioritize self-care, which I need to do, invest in your marriage, which I need to learn to do invest more in my relationship and um cultivate deeper friendships that sounds like it's going to be a great mom read i have thirsty for more discovering god's unexpected blessings in a desert season by allison allen and i feel like i'm in one of my dry seasons now i'm not really a dry season but i feel like a dry season is going to be coming or something like that so i thought this would be a great book to read pretty much that's all this is god is waiting for you in the desert basically how your dry seasons are for purpose basically is what the book is about um then i have this one by donna gibbs it is silence 
silencing insecurity, believing God's truth about you. Um, it says, say goodbye to insecurity. It's time to change how we think about ourselves. And um, I'm not insecure to a T, but I know we all have bits of insecurity. Like, I don't like being super short. I'm short. Like, a lot of people mistake me for a 12-year-old. So, yeah, I'm insecure about that sometimes. Um, and also about my, like, my my shape, if you will. But, you know, insecurity is just what, what happens in life, and I want to read more about it. Pretty much. Um, and the last one I have is a cute little gorgeous book. And it's not a devotional, but I consider it to be an a devotional. It's Hope Your Heart Needs. 52 Encouraging Reminders of How God Cares for You by Holly Girth. Gorgeous, tiny little book. Oh my god, this book is so tiny and cute. But um, yeah, it says you don't have to settle for I'm fine, which... I tend to do that a lot. When somebody asks me what's wrong, I don't say what's wrong. I say I'm fine. I come in my room, close my door, and I say it by myself, which is terrible. But it's understanding God's character, how he loves us change, and how he loves us um, changes us. So that is the book right there. But those are all of the books. I will have another book haul, obviously, in October. I will get back into making my, like, monthly reads and studies soon for you guys. You just, you guys have no, you, you know what's been going on since June. I'm still studying Mark. I am still reading the book that I'm reading. So, yeah. Hopefully, come October, November, I can start fresh. Probably won't even start till December, probably. But, um, that's pretty much it. If you want to review specifically on any of these books, let me know. Book reviews are coming. I have a review on Cling I'm working on. I have a review on the Esther Anointing I'm working on. And there's another book that I wanted to review. But, yeah, I have a bunch of reviews that I'm going to work on. Because I have a few books that I've finished. So, look for those to be coming probably no time no time soon. Because I'm behind on, like, recording things. So, pray for me. But um, I hope you guys had an awesome September. I hope you guys had an awesome September, and I can't wait to get more active again here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.